God bless you, everyone. It is Aaliyah Connect here with another word for you from God. This one is especially, especially important um, when it comes down to the foundational beliefs, all right? Here it is. Fearing God is not only the beginning of wisdom, it is also your spiritual protection, okay? Again, fearing God is not only the beginning of wisdom, it is how you are protected by God and the spirit realm. This week, um, I've become aware of uh, just some people suffering, you know, and I know fundamentally that God has been communicating with people and communicating with people and people have still been uh, taking certain actions. And I know that suffering in people's lives can be very much prevented if there is a fundamental belief that God is to be feared. That God is to be feared. Now, if you are someone that um, does not fear God or, or has not ever been told uh, that you should, um, I've got some reasoning for you based in the Bible that will hopefully get you to start thinking about this concept, okay? So I'm going to walk you through it. I've laid out uh, my thoughts here for you, all right? So let's begin. So why should we fear the Lord? It says that um, what purifies our heart Again, what purifies our heart is a fear of God. Some people think that our heart is pure when we uh, forgive or when we go to church or when we praise or how high our hands are lifted or who we hug and, and you know who we speak to or who we minister to. No, <laughs> I come to correct the masses. It is not anything related to deeds or anything related to being in a church house. It is literally fearing God. So number one, if you want to purify your heart today before God, the ask from God is that you begin to fear him. Okay. Now it's a healthy fear. It says the state of your heart determines if you are in alignment with God or if you are in alignment with the devil. All right. So again, if you're fearing God, then you are in alignment with God. Because what happens is, when you fear God, you will begin to pay very close attention to what he speaks to you in your spirit and also what he shows you in your life. Because, look, none of us are without spiritual intuition. We are all very bright in the spirit realm. But oftentimes, we choose to ignore the signs of God because we don't have a healthy fear of God. Right? Like, I'm literally doing this video right now rather than sleeping after a long week of teaching <laughs> because I have a fear of the Lord. So I fear that if I do not sit my butt on down in this chair and get you this word as God has built me up to do, I am afraid of what God will do in my week, right? Because I have seen lots of blessings as a result of my obedience. Uh, and I don't want to see those blessings or my protection go away because I'm being disobedient. And so when I see people um, who who maybe are not um, um, where they will be in terms of their relation with God, when I see them suffering, I know that fundamentally somewhere in their life, they may not have a strong enough fear of the Lord. All right. Because, again, that's how we are protected in the spirit realm. And I'm going to get deeper because I'm going to tell you about that. All right. So uh, it says a fear of God. Um, causes you to pay close attention. I talked to you about that. And it says, if we do not have a fear of God, then his desire for your life is less likely to be the top priority. All right? Because if we're not fearing God, we are uh, maybe fearing man or feeding our own desires. So again, number one, God must be our top priority. Pleasing God must be our top priority. And everything lines up under him. All right? Line up up under God. Now, if we are not um, lined up under God, then we get entangled, right? You're either in the straight and narrow path or you're entangled in the, affairs, in the affairs of life. And we do not want that. When we get entangled in the affairs of life and out of alignment with God, that's when we begin to suffer. All right? So, fear of the Lord helps eliminate suffering. 
Now, when your heart, and I should say when our heart is correctly positioned, we are less likely, less likely to be attacked by the enemy, Satan, the devil. So the Bible says that the enemy seeks who he may devour, may. So the word may, usually we use the word may, it's like, may I, may I do this or may I do that? It's like you're asking a, an authority permission. Get this, Satan asks God for essentially permission to attack you. And God's answer is based on the contents of your heart. And remember, the content and the purity of your heart is determined by whether or not you fear God. All right, now we're going to go on the Bible. If you check in and seeking who he may devour, that's in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. If you want to check out the language in the Bible, it does say who he may devour. Now, let me, let me read this to you. It gets deep. It gets really deep. I'm going to give you an example of when Satan uh, was literally making himself known to Jesus that he was uh, trying to attack Simon. So in Luke chapter 22, verse 31 and 32, Jesus says, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. That your faith may not fail. Okay? And when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. All right? So being in alignment with God, having a fear of God, having faith in God, was strengthen Simon and disallow the enemy to attack him. I also want, if you have your Bible out, I want you to take a look at Job chapter 1 verse 10. Okay? So it says here that um, Satan was not able to afflict Job without God's permission. All right. So it says that Satan said, God, have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? So this is so this is Satan speaking to God. He said, have you not put a hedge around him? Speaking of Job and his household and everything he has. Now he's picking at God about Job. Satan says, you have blessed the work of his hands so that his flocks and herds are spread throughout the land. Satan has obviously been studying Job. He wants to attack Job and he's petitioning God and he's, he's, he's um, asking God, like, haven't you done this? Haven't you done it? Haven't you done this? Why is Job not in alignment with you? Why is he not essentially fearing you? Can you remove his protection, all right, so that I may attack him? And when we see people going through things, um, the list goes on and on. We see people dying. We see people uh, getting in fatal accidents. We see people, um, you know, coming down to sickness. We see so many things, and it's not always the enemy. I'm going to get into how sometimes it's God. And it's not always that people are doing something wrong, but what I am saying is for sure that when you have a fear of God, you are less likely to suffer in this world, hands down, all right? All right, now, one last thing that I want to tell you. We talked about having a, having a fear of God so that you may maintain your protection from God. But what happens when God attacks you himself? For not having a fear of God. Do you know that there are approximately 20 million, an estimated 20 million fatalities recorded in the Bible that were personally done by God? I'm going to take you through some. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. There was a population of uh, 600 to 1200 people. Um, they're fatally killed by God. Lot's wife, um, uh, own it. We've got the firstborn of Egypt. Um, the, uh, Egyptian army. Hold on one second. All 
We've got 250 Israelites, another 14,700 Israelites. Uh, Israelites. We've got 24,000 Israelites um, with the plague for sexual immorality with the with the Moabite women worshiping and, and um, worship worshiping a uh, false god. Um, we've got so many things. S another 70,000 Israelites. Uh, um, fatality killed in a plague. We've got um, 102 soldiers, 42 youths. We've got Ezekiel's wife. I mean, God Himself kills and destroys because people refuse to fear him and get in alignment with God. All right. And so this is not a word that is meant to scare you. This is a word to really tell you uh, the reality of the world that we're living in, the spiritual world that we're living in. And I just pray for you that you um, put yourself under the protection of God by coming into alignment with God, into agreement with God and having a healthy healthy fear of the Lord. You have so, so very much to gain. I promise you, I am a personal testimony that you have so much to gain when you get in alignment with God and when you have a healthy fear of God. All right. And so that's my word for you. Thank you so much for your attention and I will see you in the next video. Have a fantastic week.